Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I was just going to demonstrate a little bit of a bug once again with the new modern web browser since we're diving into the new modern web browser. I wanted to illustrate the difference between the old browser behavior and the new browser behavior. Um, so this is only for people that are trying to do dynamically generated web content. And sometimes you don't want to drag along HTML pages and things like that that you have to have in the file system and that users can technically mess with. So sometimes you want to hard code content that you're going to display and you might do that through VBA. And I just wanted to illustrate. So if we take a look at the demo database that I have here, let's open this guy up. So I have an example here of the old browser and then I have with the new modern browser. So if we just look very quickly at it, uh, we'll right click here and design. You'll see here that the web browser has no control source. There's also, uh, if you look, there's no VBA running here. And you'll see here, I use a load event to dynamically populate what's gonna be in the web browser. So it's not reading a file. It is reading raw HTML that I put into VBA code. So in this case, to insert two buttons. So if we just run it, you'll see exactly what it does. It's very primitive, but it illustrates what it does. It generated HTML with two buttons. And it was as simple as you saw as a couple lines of code and it worked. If we apply the same principle to the modern web browser, so once again, no control source, Instead of using the load event on the form, I'm actually going to use the event on the control itself, so the document complete. So once it's loaded, then add my dynamic content, where I'm doing the exact same general idea. We're going to open it, write the content of buttons, and then close it. Well, you'll see, we haven't changed anything here. Uh, nothing happens. And unlike the old web browser where it would generate it, it appears the modern web browser doesn't work unless it already has initialized an HTML document of some shape or form. So the workaround I found for this to be able to work and do dynamic content is we need to do one of two things. Either, and I'm just gonna copy from this here, either we link it to the blank control source, the blank page, which is probably the simplest solution in reality. And it will eventually load. Or the second option is to create a blank HTML page and use that as your control source. Now remember, if you're using a blank HTML page in your file system, don't forget you need that prefix for it to work or else local files don't load. So don't forget that. That's uh, one of the big gotchas with the new modern web browser. And now equally it will work, but there's a delay because it has to read the file and we all know that local files are slow to load on the new modern web browser. So I just wanted to illustrate that difference. If you want to do any form of dynamic content, you want to be able to add things and interact with it, well, to be able to do that, you first have to have loaded some type of content. Unlike the old browser, where it seemed to initialize the HTML document somehow behind the scenes automatically. The new web browser does not. This has been brought to the attention of Microsoft, whether things will be done about it, if it will be made to conform with what we previously experienced with the old browser, I have no clue. I can't answer that, but um, there is a workaround as you see it. And it really is not very complicated. And um, ultimately, I think this is your easiest answer. Just that way you don't even need an external file. You can just come here, put it, and just so you can see it, let's zoom in on it for a second. Equal quotation about colon blank quotation. You do that, so that will initialize the HTML document enough that your buttons can then show up. And if we just, out of curiosity, do an inspect on that, and we look at our content, you'll see the HTML document is basically empty except for our content, which is exactly what we want. So using the blank, it really does, in this case, make sense. 
Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I just wanted to point that out for any of you trying to do dynamic content. That is the gotcha. you got to be aware of that. Load something. The something is up of your choosing, but in my opinion, using about blank makes sense here. And then you're good as gold. You can use basically similar techniques as we saw in the old web browser. They should be more or less transferable into the new web browser control. Thanks a lot for spending a bit of time with me. If you don't mind, like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments below. I'd love to hear from you and we will see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.